Now in this video we have a couple PNP bipolar junction transistors. We're using the 2N3906. They are wired as a current mirror as you can see here. So there's a little jumper there. Hopefully you can see that. That uh, connects the base directly to the collector of the uh, PNP bipolar junction transistor to the left right there. So this is for the 2N3906. Other uh, bipolar junction transistors uh, PNP may have a different pin layout. But uh, we got uh, emitter on top, base in the middle, collector at the bottom, coming to uh, two resistors. So their resistance is going to add up. 3,900 plus 510 is uh, 4,410 ohms of resistance. Remember, they have tolerance, so it won't be perfect. Um, but in uh, any case, we have uh, 5 volts up there. And uh, so the base and the emitter there, I should say emitter to base right there, is going to drop about 0.6 volts, which means we'll have about 4.4 .4 volts across those two resistors. So 4.4 volts divided by 4,400 ohms would be uh, one milliamp per current, 0.001 amp. Um, but uh, I did the math here for the uh, two values you see right there. So 4,410. And uh, there you can see, just slightly less than one milliamp per current. So this won't be perfect, but uh, the thing is with this other uh, PNP bipolar junction transistor, to the side there, sharing the emitter and base connection. Since it's sharing the base connection, that's actually going to control how much current flows through the emitter to collector. Even if we add a load, as long as the load doesn't limit the current even further. So LEDs don't limit current. You know, this blue one's going to take about uh, two and a half, three volts to conduct. But uh, other than that, we got enough voltage where uh, the transistor is going to set the current through it based on the current we have here. So that's I reference. I is current in electronics. Uh, so the load current is equal to that reference current, as we will see, as I said before. It's gonna be about one milliamp of current. I have a gap there, because that's how you measure current. You need a gap. So to measure current with an auto range meter, this one, we just have to set it to milliamps. I think it can go up to 600 uh, milliamps. I don't have to move the red probe for anything but high current. So we don't have to worry about that in this video. Now we have to bridge that gap because the current has to go through the meter to measure it. So obviously no current's going through the LED right now, but uh, we connect it to ground through the meter. And there you can see a pretty good one milliamp of current right there. Now uh, we will come to the collector of the transistor directly. We're bypassing the LED, going around the LED. And there you can see it's a little bit higher and it's going up over time, probably because the transistor is getting warmer. Bipolar junction transistors conduct better when they get warmer. So if you have a high amount of current, we're, we're nowhere near a danger level here. It'll level off at some point. But uh, if you're passing a high level of a high amount of current through a bipolar junction transistor, um, it's going to get warmer and it's going to start conducting uh, better. So you have to take uh, precautions. Again, we don't have to worry about that with this circuit, but it's a good uh, thing to point out since it's a pretty simple uh, video. So now we're going to measure uh, voltage. Make sure you set it to measure voltage. You don't want to be measuring current when you try to measure voltage because uh, unlimited current basically will flow. You'll blow a fuse in there. So our uh, power supply, as I said before, is 5 volts right there. And uh, we can measure the uh, drop from the emitter to the base. And there you can see it's uh, closer to 0.65 than, uh, than I just kind of guessed because it's kind of low current. Um, as the current goes up, it'll get closer to about 0.7 volts. Um, so in any case, I just did a quick estimate before uh, I, I made the video and took any measurements. But in any case, there you can see out of that 5 volts, it drops about... Uh, uh, 0.6 it looks like close to uh, 4 maybe but in any case that leaves us about uh, 4.36 uh, volts across the two resistors there which set the current uh, through this transistor and thus gets transferred over to uh, that transistor as we said before so um, I always remember with electronics um, when you are designing the circuit building circuit you'll have estimates of uh, what the values will be, like the voltage drops and everything. And uh, when you actually build the circuit, you might find they differ a little bit. It never comes out uh, perfectly. 